Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create Allure HTML reports in Protractor and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will start from scratch step by step and we will learn how to add Allure reports and how to run Allure command line to generate the HTML reports in our project. So let's get started and I will go to Google and first search for Allure reports and here I will go to images and show you how the reports will look like so you can see these images this is how Allure reports will look like and this is what we are trying to create today so here step number one will be install jasmine Allure reports library so I will go to Google and search for Jasmine Allure reports so here you will get this link Jasmine Allure reporter from NPM and I will go here and this is the Jasmine Allure reporter plugin that we need to add and here is the command I will also copy this link in the notes and all these notes will be available to you in the description section or the notes section so this is the plugin and then I will also copy the command this is the command we will use to install the plugin so I will go to my window system if you are on Mac you can go to your terminal I will go to command line and here I will run this command npm i i is for install jasmine allure reporter and also I can use the minus g flag to install it globally on the system so that every user can use this and I will hit enter and this will install the plugin so it is done and uh, if you see any warnings that is fine you should not see any errors so this is done uh, if I show you for example if I run this without the minus G flag here so you can see I am getting some warnings which is fine but I should not get any errors so now this is done uh, now the next step is here add data in conf.js so now you have to add the data in your conf.js file if I go to my Visual Studio code here is our project and here I have conf.js file now here I will show you if you are watching this video standalone I will show you exactly what to do and if you are watching this video as a series of protractor playlist and you have watched the earlier session where I have added this HTML screenshot reporter I will show you what to do in that case so both the ways it will work so what you have to do is go to this link again and if you scroll down you will find this section using Allure reporter in protractor and here we have to copy this on prepare function from here and add to our exports uh, conf.js under the exports.config section so if you are watching this standalone in your conf.js file you will have this exports.config section and you can go to the end and give a comma here at the end on the last function and then just copy this function on prepare that we have copied from here and that's it now if you are watching this as a series in the last session we have already created the on prepare function here so here I will not add it here I will just copy the statements these statements and copy it in my on prepare function inside the on prepare function so both the ways you can do it and that's it it is done and then step 2 is done and step 3 will be run conf.js and check allure reports are generated so if you see this function it creates a directory called allure results 
inside the project directory so once now we run our test it should create this folder so I will go to the terminal inside Visual Studio Code you can also run it from command line and here I will say protractor I will go to the conf folder and run the conf.js file and let's see the output so this is running our test on super calculator that we had created earlier and this is done and this is passed and if you see it created this allure results folder and there is a file inside this folder if I go to my project folder on my system you can see this is the allure results folder created and I have a file inside this however this is a XML file this is not a HTML file we need a HTML report so for that what we will do next is step number four is add allure command line tool and then so if you go to Google again search for allure command line tool and here you will get to this link uh, allure command line this one go here again I will copy the link in the notes this is the link and the command is this so this is the command So this is the allure command line tool and you can also see some documentation is here and you need Java 8 or higher for this so this will not work if you do not have Java so you should have Java if I go to my command line I can check I have Java so I will say Java space hyphen version and you should get the Java version which should be 8 or above in case you do not have Java you can uh, install or set up Java I have separate videos for that I will put the link in the description for that as well now I will run this command I'll copy this and paste it here now I will also use the minus G flag here so that it installs it globally on the system I will say minus G Allure command line and this is done it again you, if you are getting any warnings that is fine you should not get any errors and that's it I will exit from here and now after this run command allure serve and then location of allure results folder so this is the command we have to run so I will just show you I have to say here I will go to my command line I have to say allure serve and then the location of our allure results folder which is this one where we have this XML file so I will say copy this and then you can say minus O and give the location of the folder where you want the reports to be generated and if you do not give any folder here with the minus of lag then the reports will be generated at the same location here so I will now run this and let us see so this will start the Allure server and generate the reports for us so you can see it is saying generating report in the temp directory and yes it has started the report and we can now see the reports here so it shows one pass we had a single test case and you can go to the suites and you can see you can expand this this is the addition test and you can see the graphs here all this duration trend duration CVIT status you can see the timelines and all these things uh, so now let us uh, create one more test and fail the test case so that we can get some good reports I will go in my uh, test folder and the calculator.js file and I'll just copy this test case that is our addition test and all these tests we have created in the earlier sessions and I will copy this and add it again 
just so that we have two test cases let me call it subtraction test now I'm changing the name however the data and steps are same so this is subtraction test and let me make some mistake here I'm saying here click go one which is not a function so this should fail I will run my test again and if you go to the command line you can see this is the LEO server running you can press Control C to stop the server so I'll just stop the server here and I will now run my protractor tests again now this time it will run two times and one test will fail this is the first test and the second one has failed uh, let me just go and run the reports again and let us see so you can see this time it shows one pass and one fail if I go to the failed test case this is the failed test case it says a click go one is not a function and you can see the entire stack trace and everything is here and you can see the graphs here and timelines suites here you can see both the test cases and everything is here all right so this is the report and if you want to add screenshot at the end of each test you can see the options here and all this is available here so this is how you can create allure HTML reports in protractor I hope this was very useful for you thank you so much for watching